Good evening. Our top story tonight, a Cottonwood High School teacher behind bars this evening accused of sexually abusing a 15-year-old student. 38-year-old Corbin Robinson is a first-year social studies teacher at the school. New specialist Ashley Kewish joins us. And Ashley, police believe this abuse was not a one-time occurrence. Dini, at this point, investigators believe this happened at least one other time. Now, students here at Cottonwood High were spoken with about the incident before the end of the school day, and parents received this email from the district as well. Now, district officials are praising this young student for coming forward. Our best witnesses, our best source of information generally come from our students. And that's how school administrators first learned of the incident. The 15-year-old student approached school administrators on Friday with the allegations. They immediately contacted police. They conducted that investigation through the weekend and on Tuesday evening last night were able to uh, conclude that uh, a crime had, had been committed and place that teacher under arrest. According to a probable cause statement obtained by KSL, Corbin Vance Robinson is accused of allowing the student to touch his exposed genitals and then touch the female student under her clothing last Tuesday, something he had to police. It appears the relationship may have been fostered initially uh, using social media. That's obviously part of our investigation. Robinson was a student teacher at the school last year. Granite School District officials say he passed a background check prior to being officially hired as a full-time social studies teacher this past fall. In an online search, Robinson's resume says he previously worked as a student mentor at Rose Park Academy, where he taught fifth and sixth graders in after-school programs and provided opportunities for weekend field trips. Our main concern right now is for the safety of that student as well as other students who may have been hampered or affected by this. Police believe this particular student was assaulted at least one more time. If she had not come, in for, uh, come forward, there was the potential certainly that other victims could have been impacted as well. And so we're very grateful for that. Officials with the Granite School District tells us that teachers are regularly given trainings in staff development courses about proper conduct with students and how to behave. They tell us, obviously, this teacher broke several district-wide guidelines. Back to you.